Sticking with school news tonight, MISD changes course regarding injuries after a reported pedestrian accident involving a student last week. A Midland mother now speaking out in hopes that the driver who she says hit her daughter is held responsible. Local 2's Casey Jones joining us live tonight with her story. Casey? That's right, guys. A Midland mom says police didn't punish a driver who hit her daughter doing school hours. Now that mom says their failure to cite the driver for her mistake could make other Midland High students think similar actions are okay. Two Midland High students struck by an SUV during school hours Friday on campus, according to officials. I saw one student holding a bag of ice to the knee and another student holding a bag of ice to their head. Darlene Rose, mother of one of the victims, tells me she was shocked to hear the driver wouldn't be ticketed, especially after she says witnesses saw the driver leave. That's from the high school that saw what happened physically came into the uh, nurse's station to, to voice their frustration at the fact that, you know, she, the young lady didn't get out of the car and she left. According to Midland Police, surveillance footage shows the driver wasn't at fault. Midland ISD originally sent us a statement Friday saying there were no injuries reported and students involved did not require medical attention. If there had not been injuries, there would not have been ice applied to anything. After I asked the district to look further into the accident, they confirmed the students were treated by the school nurse. Rhodes would like to see the driver of the SUV held accountable for her actions that could have seriously hurt her daughter. I understand that when you're on school property, things are handled a little bit differently had, than had it been um, on the regular roadway, so to speak. But I still say there should have been some type of discipline. I have requested surveillance footage from the Midland High parking lot showing the accident. The district says they will get that over to me within 10 days. Live in the studio, Casey Jones, Local 2 News. And we'll keep a close eye on that. Casey, thanks for...